we're asked to find the derivative of the given function. Because f of x is a quotient of two functions of x, we will apply the quotient rule of differentiation shown here on the bottom right. Where if the numerator is the function u and the denominator is the function v, then the derivative of u divided by v with respect to x is equal to u times v prime minus v times u prime, all divided by v squared. Or we can say the derivative is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. So notice in our case, u is equal to three cotangent x and v is equal to one minus cosecant x. So applying the quotient rule, f prime of x is equal to, if we begin with the denominator, the denominator is the denominator squared, or v squared, which in our case is the square of one minus cosecant x. In the numerator we have the denominator, or v, which is, again, one minus cosecant x, times the derivative of the numerator, or u prime, which is a derivative of three cotangent x with respect to x. And then we have minus the numerator, or u, which is three cotangent x, times the derivative of the denominator, or v prime, which is the derivative of one minus cosecant x. The next step, we find the derivative here and here and see if we can simplify. The denominator stays the same. In the numerator, we have the quantity one minus cosecant x times the derivative of three cotangent x, which is equal to three times negative cosecant squared x, or negative three cosecant squared x. And then we have minus three cotangent x times the derivative of one minus cosecant x, which is zero minus negative cosecant x cotangent x, which gives us positive cosecant x cotangent x. And now let's see if we can simplify the numerator. Distributing negative three cosecant squared x, we have negative three cosecant squared x and then plus three cosecant cubed x. And then we have minus multiplying here, we have three cosecant x cotangent squared x. It doesn't look like much is going to simplify here, but let's go ahead and factor out the greatest common factor of three cosecant x from the numerator. So if we factor out three cosecant x from the numerator, let's write the positive term first in the parentheses. If we factor out three cosecant x from three cosecant cubed x, we're left with cosecant squared x. If we factor out three cosecant x from negative three cosecant squared x, we're left with minus cosecant x. And if we factor three cosecant x from negative three cosecant x cotangent squared x, we're left with minus cotangent squared x. Either of these last two forms would be fine for the final form of the derivative function.